Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 39 of Football Manager. This is our Forest Green save, and we've been on a pretty good run. We beat Middlesbrough by a dominating 7-3 score. Nathan McGinley, Adam Ida, Craig Mitchell, Roger Stevenson with goals, Aaron Collins with a hat trick as he uh, extends his career goal tally for Forest Green. A 3-0 win over Leighton Orient in the Carabao Cup. Ida Williams and Leighton Stewart with goals. We did lose to uh, Fulham away 2-0. Uh, just, you know, we actually played well, just didn't convert chances. A tight 1-0 win over Derby. Aaron Collins with the game winner. Huddersfield a 2-1 win. Leighton Stewart found the goal again. Joe Morell in the midfield with a goal to put us up 2-0. They got a goal about midway through the second half to make it close. And we just beat Crystal Palace 3-0 in the Carabao Cup. Aaron Collins with a brace and Adam Ida added to the tally. If we take a look at the squad and goal tallies, so uh, Collins has 6-8, and eight, Ida has 5-7, and seven. Craig Mitchell with 3-8, and eight, and Leighton Stewart 3-6 appearances. Five of those coming off the bench. Roger Stevenson's found the net twice. And a handful of guys with one goal to their credit. Craig Mitchell leading the way along with Adam Ida. Three assists and Harvey White to boot. Nico Williams with two. Williams has been moving up to that mid-right, uh, filling in there in reserve. You saw that last episode. Uh, he has continued to do that. Uh, at, uh, for, for Rend Rawson, seven appearances, one off the bench. And taking a look, uh, Bellotti has three starts, four reserve appearances. Who's the other guy? McGinley, seven starts. So uh, Rawson and Bellotti are splitting time. Neither one has gotten unhappy. So that's good. We're going to try to balance that. We have had something crop up. And that is our young striker, Leighton Stewart, has had his head turned, uh, his happiness. He wants to join Wes Brom. Wes Brom came in with an offer. I don't know. It was, let's see, he's valued at four seventy five. I think it was like $1.4 million. Well, $725,000 with installments up to $3 million. We reject. Uh, we we negotiated that they rejected it, and then Burnley came in with up to eight and a quarter million. Uh, if the, if I get something around ten, I'll probably take it. I'm hoping he he changes his mind. I tried to convince him to stay. He's adamant that he wants to play in a higher division, uh, and and to be fair, he's got the ability, right? He's shown that he can score goals. He's got three three goals uh, in competition this year, and he's getting. But you know, this is his first season. We've really gotten him on the pitch regularly because we're playing the two strikers up top, and he's coming off the bench in a lot of these games. Whereas before, he was not in the mix. He has a fourteen point two five buyout to clubs in the higher division. So I'm like, if they're a Premier League team, they can afford $14 million, uh, for a four-and-a-half star potential striker. Pay me, <laughs> you know? And if you're not going to pay me, then I don't want to hear it. So um, he hasn't said anything yet. Um, I told him I would sell him. What was my promise? Promises. Here we go. Uh, I promised him that I would sell him. When I sign a replacement, I'll sell him now, but I will have to find a replacement and I will have to do that in the January transfer window. And I will probably be looking at bids for him uh, in that window. Now he is signed for two more year for two years. So he's not in the final year of his deal. Uh, I'm not going to let him go on the cheap. He's got the buyout clause. We'll see what happens with that. I think if somebody comes in at 10 plus, I'll probably take it. Just that's money I don't think we can afford to turn down. And at some point, the board may step in, although finances are good. So maybe not. Maybe not. 
Anyway, we are back for uh, Swansea today. Uh, Collins and Ida up top. Vitasevich is going to be on the left today. Uh, Mitchell is injured. He's out for two to four weeks. Uh, he got uh, a groin strain in the last match. White, Vieira. Actually, I want uh, Morel in that spot. I've got Morel training in that ball-winning midfielder spot. So I do want to play him there. He is going to be my primary guy. And McGinnis is uh, six days for full training. So hopefully he uh, gets into form relatively quickly. And we'll get him into a couple of uh, U23 matches to get him up to speed. Uh, Clarkson was hurt recently. He's out for uh, three more weeks. Vidal also injured three more weeks. So we are a little depleted on the injury front. And Nico Williams we're giving a rest to today. And Yanev going to be getting the start there. Oh, I did have some loan moves. I forgot to show those to you. We'll take a look at those after the game, I guess. All right, early going. Swansea gets the first shot. Let's ask for some creativity. Collins is really scoring well. Uh, I think I'm going to dial back to positive just to slow it up a little bit. Try to work on that possession. Let's demand more. Got a little nervousness going on on the back line. Surprise that it's McGinley. All right. Well, not much in the uh, way of highlights. Let's go assertive. We can win this. Keep working hard. No cards. All right. They've got a highlight. There's a tackle that they beat, but Stevenson picks up on a turnover. And then immediately loses it. Vitasevic taps it to White. White finds Yanov on the overlap on the wing. He's in the box. Crossed in. And across the goal, Vitasevic. His first goal for the club. And that is a nice finish. Just inside the post. And they always tell you, on a cross, go back the way the ball came. Because the keeper is going to be moving towards you. And you can put it past him because he won't be able to reverse direction. Good job on his part. Yana with the long throw. Oh, there was a volley and it goes over the bar. All right, let's take a look here. Wharton is dragging a little bit. Swatridge made his debut uh, between episodes. Bellotti, Rawson, they're playing well. I don't want to pull him off yet. Uh, Collins, you know what? Let's bring uh, Oscar's not, well, Oscar's not a bad finisher. Let's give Oscar some game time. Let's bring him in for Collins, especially if Stewart's going to leave. I mean, I guess it would be behoove us to put him in the shop window, but you know, to try to drive that price up. Well, there's a nice ball down to, is that Sisto? Oh, dangerous ball. Will Hughes was left alone, and he makes us pay. Connor Gallagher with the assist, and that equalizes at one. Let's uh, demand more. Come on, boys. I'll be happy with, well, I'm not going to say anything now. Oh, my God, a penalty on Bilotti. That was not good. It's like, it's like oh, he went the right way. Very, very close. We're going to have to go back up to attacking and uh, push forward. Looks like he went up to head the ball and then teleported over to uh, knock him down. Stevenson. 
All right, we'll let him keep playing. Vitasevich, I don't have anybody there either. Wow. I'm going to bring Leighton Stewart up for Ida. I know that takes our two top scorers off, but both of those guys now have fresh legs. Demand more. I was, I was literally just getting ready to say I would be happy with a draw, and we had that penalty. Ugh. Come on. Steal it. Get on it. Oh, big ball over the top. Good clearance. Nah, that wasn't over. Come on. You know that wasn't over. It never goes over. Ever. <laughs> oh, man, that... All right, what's the, you know, what's the old saying? We got FM there. Problem is, we only had two half chances created. We won possession. We dominated this game. Just could not put it in the net. Leads up into second position with Huddersfield. And we are in third, so we're doing well. Uh, disappointing. Definitely agree with that. And we've got... Uh, We've got a two-week break here. I don't know what's going on during the break. International, maybe? Oh, yeah, seven players off on international duty. Most of them are uh, under 21s, but a couple of them. So let me go ahead and uh, get up to the next match, and we will see you guys in just a second. So here's a look at those moves that we made. Uh, Ducati went to Crotone uh, on loan. Akinola goes to Rockdale on loan. Uh, both of them picking up 100% of their salaries. Uh, I did bring in uh, Liam Lindsay on a free transfer. So let's take a look at him. We were able to register him. Uh, so he's got uh, three and a half star potential. He's 27 in Scottish. Center back, again, very quality depth, and he's left. Footed. So that gives us some uh, some cover on that left side for McGinley, somebody that can actually do a job. Six foot four, big guy. So looking forward to seeing him in action. And uh, now we have two center backs uh, on each in each position, and that keeps us from having to move Wharton from the left side into the central mid uh, on on occasion when McGinley needs a rest. So that's good. And we also have, we had already looked at this guy. Uh, I've signed Vasil Zadrovkov. I think he joins us in January. Uh, he is an 18 year old Bulgarian. Uh, he's capped at the U19 level, center back, defensive mid, not very good. But he was really cheap. And uh, so basically what I did is, uh, you remember I talked about having that uh, young uh, Bulgarian that was demanding a trade because I didn't sign a friend. Well, we've got this guy uh, coming in. And uh, hopefully uh, that makes our other Bulgarian uh, a happy camper. Otherwise, both of these guys will be out. <laughs> so... Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Yep, we've been through the international break, so let's get here. We're playing Watford away today. Uh, they are in uh, inconsistent form, but they are slight favorites today, so we're going to take the away tactic. So we'll have Williams on the right, Wharton on the left, McGinley and Ross in the pairing in the center, Palmer in goal. Uh, I do want to put Morel in here again. I'm trying to keep that pairing going. Vieira is important off the bench. Uh, oh, McGinnis. McGinnis was training. Uh, he had returned to training, and then he was injured in training. But it wasn't bad. He just for uh, he was injured jumping in training. So he he will be back in a couple of days. Uh, Clarkson starts back to training tomorrow. Uh, Mitchell is out for about another week and a half. 
So we will be getting back to full strength here soon. Uh, Vidal has fitness problems as well, uh, coming off of an injury uh, for a few weeks. And uh, he's in that same boat with Mitchell, not Mitchell, uh, Clarkson. Uh, he'll be back uh, tomorrow as well. So uh, anyway, Williams, Wharton, McGinley, Rawson on the back, Morell and White in the mid, Vitasevich and Stevenson on the wings, Collins and Ida up top. Uh, you know what? I yeah, Yanev is still unhappy, and I don't know if there's a way. There's no way to. Hopefully, he can see that we just signed a Bulgarian, right? Right. I mean, come on, help me out here. I do want to get Clark some game time in goal. Uh, I should have done it early in the cup, but mm, I didn't. And we've really lost the pace on our goal scoring, but still doing well. <clears throat> All right, White gets to the ball. McGinley makes a slight charge up. There's a ball up to Ida. Finds Stevenson on the wing. Oh, look at that. He just blew past his player. He cut it inside and took the shot with his left, and it goes wide of the mark. But he's re he looks like he's got a really heavy first touch, but once he controls the ball, he has huge pace and acceleration and just blew past that defender. Man. We have not seen a lot of that. I thought maybe he was off sides. Evidently not. The keeper comes all the way out. Let's ask for some creativity. Oh, uh, he's beating his man. Keeper watches that go wide. He went for the ball just in case, but I think he knew it was going around. Oh, there's a header by Collins, and it goes over the goal. I got uh, got my flu shot and my pneumonia shot uh, Wednesday, and my arms still hurt. The flu, the flu arm is feeling a lot better than the pneumonia is still a little rough. Uh, they recommend the pneumonia shot once you pass 50. So for those of you watching, if you couldn't tell that I'm over 50, welcome to reality. <laughs> Let's ask for some creativity again. Another shot into the box goes high. Come on, boys. Oh, there's a nice ball. Collins, good first touch. Looks like he was trying to flip that over the keeper. Keeper knocks it away. We'll take the corner from it. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous. And nothing comes of it. Pretty evenly matched. We are controlling possession. Uh, you are playing well. You two guys. Do your thing. We'll probably pull... Tell you what, let's make that sub now. Collins is not doing well. We're going to bring Leighton Stewart on. Uh, Morell, let's bring uh, Vieira on for him. Get a yellow off the field. Williams. Oh, tackled away. Ida picks it up and resets. White, you've got a guy outside. Oh, it goes in. Leighton Stewart, fourth goal. I really don't want to lose this guy. I was pretty high on him when I got him a couple of years ago, a couple of seasons back. But now that he's actually starting to score, let's demand more. 
now all of a sudden he wants to get out of here. Stevenson. Oh, Stevenson pings it. Wow, he's got a blistering rush pace on that shot. Wow, that was pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Right back. Okay, we'll bring Rawson over. And then we'll bring Bellotti on at center. And let's pop into the tactic. Ask the keeper to start slowing the pace down. We can do that. And we're going to drop back to balance to slow it down even more. We're going to ask him to tighten up here in the final minutes. And we get out with the win. Again, 22 shots to 9, 11 to 5 on target. Four chances created. Only one goal today. Only one goal. Still a good game. We got the win. We got the points. So we'll be happy with that. Taking a look at the competition. We're now eight games in. We're on 18 points with a plus 10 goal differential. Just behind Huddersfield, even with leads, but with the slight edge on the goal. And we're three points up in the playoff spot. So that's good. And we are 15 points up on relegation. But they do want us finishing top half, which is 12th or better. And we're seven points clear of that. So the board is pretty happy thus far. We're going into the third round of the FA Cup. We drew Leicester. So we may not make that fourth round for the board, uh, pulling a Premier League team in the third round. Assuming they're in the Premier still. I, I didn't see them come down. Yeah, they're, they're not in the championship. Oh, that's the Carabao Cup. Third round. So we can get knocked out here. And we go into the third round, and that starts in January. Taking a look at the squad. Trying to keep you guys up to date. So six goals for Aaron Collins, five for Ida, four for Leighton Stewart now. And I do want to get him a couple of starts, because uh, I think he could probably... I think he could replace Collins right now if I wanted him to. Collins is just scoring at such a rate. And, but if I could sell him and get somewhere near that value, I would switch over to Stewart in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, I believe. Because I even like Oscar. I even like Oscar in that role. We would have to train him some more, but I think Oscar could do a job up there. Maybe something to think about in the window. That would move on a $585,000 contract. Oh, speaking of, uh, Stevenson, where's he at? There he is. What's his first? See, he's got a 12 first touch, a 13 dribbling. There's no reason he should have that heavy of a first touch. I'm not sure what what causes him to lose possession as much as he does, but it is what it is. And he's got good finishing too, to only have 45% shots on target. Squad dynamics, uh, locker rooms going back up. Leadership support, of course, is excellent. Uh, McGinley still unhappy. Nothing I can do with that. Uh, Leighton Stewart is concerned, and I have made him a promise. So we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm probably going to have to sell him, but I'm not if they don't come in at his value. <coughs> and Yanev, hopefully he sees that I do sign that guy in January and gets his head out of his butt. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, so let's move on. We'll skip Lester, I suppose. Maybe come back uh, end of October for Southampton and Reading? Or do I come back in November? Why don't we skip to November? Why don't we come back for um why don't we come back for Luton and Bristol City? That'll give us a good run. And again, trying to get through these seasons. 
if the uh, the FA Cup doesn't start until January, I said, yeah, right there. So we don't have to worry about that. So yeah, let's come back for uh, the beginning of November. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, results. We'll have what's that? Eight games in the interim. So I will be working my way through those here through the weekend before I start recording. And uh, hey, appreciate you guys coming by and watching. Hope you watched it all the way to the end. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, hey, do me a favor. Just in good spirit, if you like what I do here, let one of your friends know that may be an FM watcher. Let him know about the channel. And uh, you know, if each one of you guys can turn on one person and just half of those people end up subscribing to the channel, we've made a lot of headway. Uh, so I would be appreciative of that. Guys, thanks so much. We'll talk to you. Bye.